Hi, I'm Angela, and today I'm going to be showing you this look, which is a daytime ceremony look, and how to transform it into an evening reception look. So first we're going to do a moisturizer. It's important to hydrate the skin. So we're going to do a light to medium coverage foundation. We want her to look beautiful and flawless in the pictures, but also let her natural skin shine through. Then we're going to build with the concealer in the places where she needs a little bit extra. So I love a soft fluffy brow, so I'm going to start by brushing up the brows. Then I'm going to take an angled brush and fill in the brows where it needs a little bit of extra. First we're gonna start with a soft pink all over the eye. Next we're gonna go just in the outer corner of the eye, a little bit in the crease. This is a middle sort of pink shade, enough for us to build to a deeper shade later. Then I'm going to do a little pink shimmer, starting on the inner corners and working my way out. Next I'm going to take the rose gold shimmer and just kind of start in the middle of the eye, working my way out, just blending everything together. Next I'm going to do the mascara. We're going to work our way from root to tip. So now I'm just taking a darker rose tone with an angled brush and I'm just going to smudge it into the lash line a little bit. I'm just going to define the lashes without using like a harsh black liner. And we're going to do the same and we're going to tuck it under the lash line. This really defines the lash line without using a deep dark shade. I'm going to do a little highlight on the brow bone here. So now I'm doing the concealer and I'm just using a peachy tone to brighten the under eyes. So this is a light bronzer and I'm just using an angled brush. If we want to do more contour later we can go in with a different shade. This blush has a little bit of rose gold in it as well, so it complements the eyes. Now I'm doing a little bit of highlighter. This is a powder highlighter. You want to just stay right on the orbital bone here, and you don't want to go too close to the nose. We're going to do a little bit of a light pink stain on the lips to pull the rest of the look together. So here's the finished daytime ceremony makeup look, and next I'm going to show you a super simple hairstyle that's going to complement the rose gold tones in her eyeshadow. Now I'm going to show you a super simple natural looking wave. I'm going to section the hair off. Next I'm going to use an inch and a quarter barrel. You can use one without a clamp or with a clamp. But I'm just gonna take this and smooth it out a little bit before I wave it. I like to hold the iron horizontal. It gives a really nice shape to the wave. So this is the finished look. You 
can leave it as is or it's easy to add a little hair accessory. Here's a little headband with some crystals and some pearls and it's really gonna elevate her look. So this is the completed daytime ceremony look. Up next, I'm gonna show you a few easy things you can do to transform this to a nighttime reception. First thing that I'm gonna do is add some drama by using a darker shade in the crease in the same color tones that we were using before. Next, we're gonna go back in with the rose gold Super shimmery. Next, we're gonna come in with a gold. And this is gonna brighten up the inner corners. Now we're gonna go back under the lash line and just do another layer to deepen it. Next, we're gonna use a liquid liner just to really make her lashes stand out. highlighter on the brow bone. I'm gonna go in with a fan brush and just make the bronzer a little more sculpted. I like to blend everything out with a dual fiber brush so we're not getting any harsh lines and our face is gonna start looking dirty. Now we're gonna go into the waterline with a black gel liner and I'm using an angled brush again. Now we're gonna put a little bit more drama on the lip, so we're gonna do that with a little bit of lip liner to define. And we're gonna deepen the color. And we're gonna choose a shade that's just a few shades darker than the lip color she had on earlier. Where before we did a stain, we're now really just fully covering the lips and giving her a nice defined bow. We're just gonna do a touch more of the rose gold blush. Blush is the first thing to fade and you don't wanna be too flat on your wedding day, so definitely make sure you're paying attention to that. This is our finished evening makeup look and now we're gonna move on to the evening reception hair. So for the evening hair look, we're gonna do a high dramatic bun. This is gonna be super simple, so if you don't have a lot of time between your ceremony and reception, it's a really easy way to look super elegant. It shows off your neck, it shows off your dress, and it's really different from what a lot of the styles have been. So we're just really smoothing this up as high as we can get it. So if you wanna give your bun a little bit more texture, I like to do a loose braid and then just sort of wrap it on top of your head. You can kind of pull it apart and make it as big and loose as you want. So now we're going to add little pearl pin accessories. These are really cute and simple but it's really gonna glam up her look. And that's how you can take your wedding hair and makeup from day to night. Thanks for watching. Hi, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and return for new videos every single week.
Don't forget to hit that like button. No, seriously, you should hit it now.